Kling 01 is like the video version of Nano Banana, and in this video we're going to use it to give you 13 tips to make cinematic AI films and videos. Let's go. One of the best things Kling 01 allows you to do is upload a ton of different reference images to serve as guides or image prompts to steer the style, look, and environment of your shots. Just upload your reference images, and then you can reference them directly within your prompt by simply adding the at symbol, and then image one, image two, etc. for whichever image you want to use in that part of the prompt. This allows you to tell the model exactly what each part of your prompt is referring to, giving you more control than was ever possible before. One of the wildest things about Kling 01 is the ability to edit things in existing shots. You can think of this like Photoshop generative fill for video. Just upload your shot, explain what you want changed, and hit generate. You get an entirely new version of your video where the model preserves the motion and camera structure of your shot. This is the future of VFX and allows you to alter existing shots of any kind with tremendous speed. To expand on the previous technique, you can have Klingo 01 reference a video to determine what comes next. For instance, you can upload a 3 to 10 second shot from a sequence, and then type in that you want Kling to reference this video to create the next shot. Then you can explain what you want to happen in that next shot. You can also do this exact same technique to generate the shot that would have come before the current shot. This allows for way better consistency between shots and within entire scenes. You can think of elements as individual assets in your generation that stay consistent between different shots. These can be characters, objects, props, or locations. Each element is actually made up of a bundle of separate images of the same object from multiple angles. So to create a new element, you just click on the Element tab, upload different angles of the same subject, and then add a label or description of what it is. When finished, you'll be able to select these different elements by typing in at symbol element 1 for instance. You can even select multiple different elements and have Kling 01 combine them all into a single video. If you have two shots you want to connect, you could take the last frame of the first shot and the first frame of the second shot and add them both in Kling's image to video using start and end frame. Add a text prompt of what you want the transition to do. This is especially good if you want to add camera motion to match the existing camera motion you have in this part of your edit. Then click generate and put the resulting shot between your existing clips to get mind-blowing creative transitions. With a simple prompt, you can completely change the style of a shot. Just type in the style you want, like cinematic color grade with a filmic look, and then type in the preserve constraints, or what you want to keep, like preserve camera motion and timing, keep the character identity consistent. Then hit generate, and you get a new shot with the changes you requested. One of the coolest things Kling01 lets you do is upload a short clip, and then use video reference to generate the next shot in that scene, all while keeping the subject and environment consistent across the shots. This is unbelievably helpful for creating full scenes without having to come up with tricks for maintaining character consistency and continuity. If you have a clip that has great motion or camera work that you want to have in another shot, you can upload that clip and then use video reference to transfer the motion from that shot to another clip you generate. This can even work for more complicated camera motions. For more pro level control, you can even shoot something yourself on your phone doing the exact camera movement you want on a short clip and then apply that same camera motion to a new video generation. You can have Kling01 effectively change the camera angle or size of a shot by simply uploading your clip and then typing in what you want the new shot to look like. You could type in things like close up, wide shot, low angle, top down aerial shot, and it will create a new generation from that desired angle while keeping the subjects of the video consistent. This one's a game changer for VFX. You can now remove things from a video by simply explaining what you want removed. This includes the ability to remove objects, logos, props, elements in the environment, or even entire characters. You can also add elements to the scene by simply typing what you want added. You can say, add a gun into the character's hand, or add a classic car in the background. A lot of people just add 3 to 7 reference images and let it run, but if you want better results, you can actually assign each reference image a clear role in the prompt. For instance, you could tell it to reference image 1 for just lighting and color grading, you could tell it to reference image 2 for environment design, and you can even tell it to ignore the subjects in those references. This will get you much better results that are a lot closer to your desired intent. O1 responds best when your prompt is structured like this. First, subject anchor. This is your subject or element. Second, shot plus action. This is what happens in your shot. Third, preserve constraints. This is what you don't want changed. This helps your generations to better match your direction intent and feel less random. The best way to create a cohesive style across your generations is to use a style bible line. This is a single style sentence that you can copy and paste across all your prompts for a project to create consistency across generations. Just make sure you only change your action line each shot, and keep the style bible line the same. 
Klingo One has been called the nano banana of AI video, and it completely changes the game for what's possible for AI film. So if you want to try out Klingo One for yourself, click the link in the description, and we'll see you in the next one.